Looky what we got here. Ed Ripper. Caught his lights. Oi! I've seen this face before. What do you think he's thinking? In his little brain. An orc with a brain bigger than a man's. Quite the conundrum. If I wanted to eat your tongue, I'd rip it out your face and smack it against me sword. Ain't that right, Ed Ripper? Do you know why he's called Ed Ripper? See, when people talk and he don't understand their kids, he thinks ripping their heads off makes them easier to understand. He ain't the sharpest tool. Ain't that right, Ed Ripper? You talk a lot for an orc. I suppose you have a brain. Is that what I shall call you then? Brain, does that work? Clearly one is civilized as yourself. Must have heard of Vagra the Merciless. Him, I've heard of. You, I'm afraid not. What? Ah! Do you find it, Dan? You big pity brain. Wants to do everything myself, Dan. Lazy moppet. You stay here and watch this dog. Yes, master. Find the bloodstone, I will. Search every village in the Grimark Mountain. Why? I'm no moppet. As in this moment I realized the search for my daughter may have come to an end. Was all my waiting and tracking in vain? I had been bested by this vile creature. Morgra may have been an orc, but an exceptionally clever orc he truly was. Perhaps by design, a byproduct of dark wizardry indeed. If twas my end, I knew in my heart, in the afterlife, I could tell my sweet Reyna. I tried to avenge her. Love, you know daddy must do as the king orders, right? 
And besides, who else would be the eyes and ears of Lieutenant Brandon Oak? He's airy, though. <laughs> yes, indeed, he is. Quite a hairy man, isn't he? And you know who else would be there? Flint Tanner. You'll have Daddy's back. Big man. Indeed, he is. And let's not forget Corsa, Daddy's mate. I served with him since basic. I'll miss you, Daddy. Your king of the castle, then. Eh? Hacking and sacking defenseless Pisces. Oi! Feeling sensitive, are we? Our sack of skulls ain't doing it for you. Oh, I ain't trying to steal your loot. Or maybe I is. Who was it? You found their Pisces in the village. Me? Who was it? and got himself ambushed by rangers. Oh, that's right, you. What's that, master? I'm the smartest orc you've ever seen. Why, you're too kind, master. What's that? You got a message for Ed Ripper? Pay rain. Forget your worthless trophy skulls and find the bloodstone. Oh, and do whatever Margaret the Merciless says, because he's smarter than you. Time to tell the master. We've got no slaves, no trophies, and no bloodstone. He will skewer us and feed us to the fire breather. Everything reminds me of her. The jays singing, tree branches dancing in the wind. Orc raiding parties have scoured my home village in the Grimmick Mountains, alone on the outskirts of the Short Hills. I track the wretched greenskins responsible for killing my family. My daughter's body never recovered, only a tear from her dress. My brother rangers inform me these orcs are slavers. I suspect Reyna to be with them. They had better pray not a single scratch be on her. I hold a hawk-delivered letter from Lieutenant Wolf. I fear his orders will be to abandon my daughter's search and fall back in the ranks. Time is my greatest enemy now. I hope orders align with my will. Drusen, I, I hope, hope this letter reaches you by the time you return to your village. Our brothers in the north have tracked the orcs responsible for the destruction of your home. You'll find them in the short hills. Through their bravery and inquisition, they've discovered the true motive behind their pillaging. One, simply known as the Master, has ordered them to find the Blood Stone. At this point, this little else is known. For the rest of our brothers, the time to seek out and extinguish the orcs who raided your village has come to a halt. We've just received orders from Count Thrace to eliminate trolls in the Dickerbeg Hills. I understand if you choose to stay behind and pursue the orcs who slew your family. We can fend off the trolls without you. 
Revenge may seem a satisfying conquest. Just remember, killing the orcs will replace the feelings of loss that pain your soul, but will serve as a good distraction in the interim. Be wary of the one they call Mogra. He and his companion take orders directly from the Master, not infamous for enslaving and toying with prisoners. May your loved ones reach the heavens in peace. Lieutenant Brander Nogue. Dispute amongst them. But only two sets of tracks, not a third. Perhaps the large one decided to carry Reyna. Sounds better. Of course we kill him. You stupid kid. But first, we slave him. It's settled then. Deserve to die. I say we find them, slay them, and bring them back to the master. I could end it now. I could avenge Reyna. Bring them back to the master's lair. After we squeeze him for the bloodstone. But knowing where the master is could be paramount. We've oh, got a better plan then. Decide. I don't think he's got it, stupid. But he might know where it is. Avenge your daughter, or possibly save many lives. I'll show you. Then, stupid pea brain. 
Wants to do everything myself, then. I see Muppet. You stay here and watch this dog. as well. If I were to treat us like you, surely you must realize you're more powerful than Marker and the Merciless. I know you're smarter than he. Your reputation precedes your greatness. I can pluck him right between the eyes with his own error. What you waiting for? Move, lazy muppet. <laughs> Stupid, you are this fuck. I'm not your enemy. Wait, 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 wait. I know that we can get more trophy skulls. More than you can count. Well, maybe more than that. Let's keep it spicy for ourselves, yeah? Forget about the monster. Oh, come on, boy. Don't you remember all the good kills we had? Boy, the boss is right! For oh, my daughter! Watch it! Watch it now! You're dead now, Feisty! You scum! You're lower than the dust! Killing an innocent child! Pretty little thing to say was. Think about little girl. They make a perfect supper. Right before good killing. girl still alive? Oh, that's right. We didn't go on like you think. We sold her to them outlanders. Ah, oh, your vengeance is in vain. The day she was born. Reyna, wherever you are, Daddy's coming for you. Don't lose hope, child.
wasn't stealing. I'm a protector of the borderlands. I save vagrants like you. I just bought food. So you can live to steal another day. No, Ranger. I am hungry. Nothing more. You from these parts? Mostly. Then point me to the Outlanders. I had best in here. The forest is crawling with them. And their camp. You'll never find them. No one has. I'm not your average tracker, vagrant. Not a vagrant. Of a wandering traveler. Ooh. Much gratitude, Ranger. What will you do when you find them? Take it. It's yours. as our leader. Did you not let the spoils of war satisfy your need for retribution? But instead, you became weak. You chose a natural-born enemy as a companion in life. Why, brother? You got greedy, Henrik. We are protectors of the realm. Not thieves, nor bandits. You... shame us. And who shall provide for us if not ourselves? The King's Hand has never cared for us, nor executed law. We are the law, Bjorn. We dictate how we survive. And the Orcs, trading with Greenskins. Tell me, brother, how is it just to have captives mend your clothes and cook your meat? This could have been yours, brother. We need you. Lead us to the spoils of what is he once promised. You're right, and uh, I did promise you. But that was before you were tainted by the forces of darkness. Searching for Reyna out here in the borderlands far too long. I've lost track of the weeks. I feel I'm close, but all progress seems to be halted by outlanders who would rather meet death 
then give up their base of operations. It's as if they're protected by a dark shroud of evil. Morkra, the merciless, the vile, wretched orc scum, sold her to the Outlanders right before I killed him. She is but a child, a sweet innocent, a gift from the heavens from a supreme creator. And I still have no more clues regarding this precious bloodstone. I'd sacrifice my beating heart for it if it meant the life of my sweet Reyna. I am a powerless nothing. I do as the master orders. Now you say, Muppet. I hear you, creature. Present yourself. Don't toy with me, creature. I can pick up your scent a mile away. State your purpose in following me, and mind your words, for they may just be your last. I am Shari Agathira. I am not your enemy. I've been following your death trail of Outlanders for the last... Thirteen and a half miles. Yes, I know. Why? I come to seek out the Watcher of the Woods. I'm afraid you have the wrong man. There is but one ranger in these parts, and that ranger is you. You can track these Outlanders, but you cannot defeat them alone. I know you're searching for someone you've lost. You're a soldier, trained to seize tactical advantage. I'm offering aid. Be wise and take it human. Outlanders taking captives is common knowledge in these parts. Clearly, I'm in search of someone. And Watcher of the Woods. One look at my crest tells you I'm a ranger. Your description of me as a soldier is as generic as driftwood floating down the Cassian River. No, Ranger, I do know you. You're a protector of the realm. As are all Rangers. Now be on your way, creature. Do not follow me. Think this through. They have her. They have your daughter. I beg your pardon. You've been tracking these outlanders for weeks now. I know exactly where they are. Join me, and together we can defeat them. How dare you use my daughter? Attempts to sway my purpose. I don't know you from a stone in my shoe. I do not wish to sleep with one eye and one ear open. Stop your pursuit. You'd only slow me down and do not care for your aid. Do not follow me, creature. Stop calling me creature! You will learn to appreciate my generosity, human. Have it your way, she elf. from the sand, Ranger, and join me. I've misjudged you, Elf. Your skills are indeed expert, but my resolve to find my daughter alone is firm. Seek the Watcher of the Woods no longer. You will only find solitude in your quest.
child, Shio. It's the outlander way. <laughs> Final act be noble from one warrior to another. Please tell me where she is. The shield already knows. Why the sudden change of heart, Ranger? This man's blood has verified your words. And I always trust blood over words. Lead the way. Christana, Meohinda, Christana, Alanda. Morka, give your blade. If I had a gold coin for every time you stop to chant your grog. It is not grog, Morka. I prepare hideous poison that stay in body even after death. And all this time I thought I was evil. Once poison enters bloodstream, vital organs begin to consume each other. Bones consume flesh, sinews consume bone, until there is nothing left but blackness underneath this skin. Oi! Get it here, elf, or I'll cut you like a porker! This poison is made from the blood of 13 black orcs. The essence of evil contained therein is more powerful than the resurrected life force that flows through your veins. Don't toy with it, Morka. I'm trying to protect you from awful fate. Carabinus, I'm sorry! <laughs> you wicked witch! Had I lost my way, never did I dream nor consider traveling with a she-elf. To associate with one is to bring unwelcome judgment from the kingdom. It seemed we were desperate allies. At this point, I held on to any glimmer of hope. I would find Reyna, even if it meant remaining in the company of this woodland creature. Her proud superiority over humans was unnerving. As a child, I thought the wood elves to be ethereal and without guile. Years of rangering in the borderlands have taught me otherwise. They're hundreds of years old. Proud beings they are. And rightfully so. I suppose after centuries of living and fighting, I'd be a proud creature as well. I would travel with the She-Elf as long as needed. Then we would go our separate ways. Drop your gear, Ranger. We'll rest here and gather our strength. Well, you certainly travel light. Well, I don't require as much as you do to sustain myself. You Wood Elves have always been peculiar creatures. And you humans have always been quick to wage war on that which you do not understand. Do you have a name, Ranger? Or shall I just call you Ranger for the rest of our journey? Why is it of concern? If you must know, I am Drewston Lorne. Quite the name for a farmer turned ranger. You have it wrong, she -elf. I was not a farmer. Nor was I anything, really. Just lost in the dark shroud that consumes most things in this world. So, where does your journey begin? 
Life wasn't always as dark and grim as I've come to know it. Before the orc raiding wars, there was peace in the Grimmick Mountains. The king's vanguard, his elite warriors, the rangers, stood immovable and steadfast in their duty to protect the borderlands. My Indian mother died by the hand of festering creatures of darkness. Hence my ever-growing hatred towards them. My father, the Trapper, often spoke of his ancient ancestors who were protectors of the realm. They were legendary in the art of the hunt. The old man would go on and on before one day a thieving bandit stabbed him for 13 pieces of silver. And so I became a child of the village. In this place was a certain unspeakable serenity that permeated the very essence of life. I knew everyone, and in turn, everyone knew me. We all had a similar story to tell. I considered these fine people my family. I grew quite fond of them. We took care of one another. Great times. Is that that bad enough for you? I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Deep down in my heart, I always knew one day the peaceful life I enjoyed would be taken away. Call it a stirring in my dreams. The voice of destiny was calling to me, echoing through the ages, transcending time, compelling me to heed her call. Alas, it was time to meet my future. A village steeped in tradition, held true to a rite of passage. When one came to the age of independence, one would see the Lady of the Woods. And so I gathered every needful thing for my journey. I knew not what it truly meant to survive in the woods. I was a young man with a naive notion that all was well in the world. Nevertheless, my eyes would soon be opened to the raw reality that plagued mankind. For you, Dayfoss Path is quiet, peaceful. You live long time, and you alone on this path. Many great and terrible things. Lots of death and darkness. But through that death come life. You have much pain and sorrow. You lose your wife to the creatures of darkness. But you love your daughter more than the world itself. Soon. You seek out living ancestor, Wester here in the mountain. He 
is great warrior. He train you his ways. You become wise and strong. You can face anything because of him. I see. I am in the presence of greatness. You, Ranger. You do many great things for many people. So, Drusta, creature of light. Which path you choose? Poison. Shh, listen. There's a scary little hair over there in the bushes. Do us a favor. Fetch us some supper. Pardon me, sir. Can you spare a coin for an old beggar? Sorry, old man. I haven't any to spare. Be on your way now. Please, young man. I only need one coin. I really do wish I could help, but how do I know you won't just drink it all away with grog? Please, sir. I beg of you. Won't you help an old man? I'm starting to get frustrated, beggar. Be on your way now. I'm searching for my ancestor. Oh, my dear boy, the only one who lives in these woods is the ancient one. Just over that hill. Just over that hill? Yes. Thanks, old man. Drusen Lorne. I'm your kin. I've come to seek wisdom and guidance. I've traveled long and far to meet you. Please, come out. Are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Please forgive. 
forgive my rudeness. I have coin. I can pay you whatever you want. I've come all this way, Ancient One. This is my chosen path. You must train me, for without your guidance I have no purpose. I beg of you, please, sir, forgive this misunderstanding. Apologies, young man. But I have no time to spare. I simply cannot train you. But I'm your kin. You're my living ancestor. But how do I know you won't just waste my time and drink my grog? I've come to work hard and be trained by you. The Lady of the Woods said twas my destiny. Uh, I'm starting to get frustrated with you, young man. Be on your way now. Here? No, please! Sir, do not care, I will freeze out here! What do you think? Grog? Or coin? That's coin. Greenwood? What do you wager? Grog? Or coin? Maybe grog. Hmm. And what do you think? Grog? Or coin? Think about it then. Then take the loot. Where's the fun in that? You'll get your time. Get in there! That's the spirit! Old man. Mark, ma, words.
no more than you. How can such a disregard for human life exist? Evil has its place in the world. Where there is light, there must also be darkness. One cannot exist without the other. I am born of darkness then. I believe we are all born with a choice. We choose our path and then fate decides if we are to be a force for light or a force for darkness. Does this mean you'll train me then? What do you think I've been doing this past week? I don't understand. When I refused your request to train, you relentlessly persisted. You passed the test. A warrior never gives up, never surrenders, and never gives in to the forces he has the power to overcome. That was a test? I. I starved for a week. Wretched on disgusting water, froze in the night, was tormented by wolves, and nearly beaten to death by thieving bandits. And all that was a test. I, the first of many. You're a sick old man. And what have you learned? That I'm related to a sadist. You'll thank me later. Next old man. Don't let a lucky shot be mistaken for skill. It was not luck. Bow's my weapon. It speaks to me. Maybe so. But skill still needs to be acquired. Now shoot it again. One day, you shall call upon the elements to guide you in your quest. But until that day, you have much to learn. Again! Anger. Yes. Channel that energy. Bend your will to it. Again. That's it. Listen to the air. It's speaking to you. Do you hear it? What is it saying? to admit it. The Ancient One cracked my hubris. I knew he was right. Deep down, it was what I wanted. To be trained by the Ancient Warrior. To shake off the shackles of weakness.
If you are to be a force for light, you must yield to it. Submit to it. Respect it. Honor its might. Your determination will punish you. It will throw you in ways you never thought possible. Listen to the air. The air speaks. You must train your ears to hear it. And so I trained. Until I started to hear with my ears. I was convinced I had no problems hearing. It was not that kind of hearing I was lacking. I was proud and arrogant, and I let it rule my being. I would learn to be rid of such weakness and open my heart to true strength. It wasn't until much later I would learn I needed to listen to the earth. For years to come, the Ancient One would teach me that if I listened to the earth, she would never betray me. Eventually, my body learned to flow with the elements. I learned how to direct, then redirect energy into my opponent. In time, after weapons were mastered and training was completed, one spoke to me as the Ancient One had promised. This weapon would become an extension of my essence. I came to truly rely on its being. We hunted. We tracked everything that moved. Soon I came to know every creature that walked this world. Everything leaves an imprint in its wake. I learned how to recognize it. I unlocked the power of my senses. They taught me where I needed to be. I was ready to become one with the elements of the warrior. My years of hard work had paid off. But little did I know, my training was not yet over. Ancient Father, I am ready to be a protector of the realm. It's been 4,000 days since I arrived at your doorstep. I've mastered everything you've taught me. Please, release me into the world and give me your blessing to fight against the forces of darkness. Very well, my son. You are ready for your final test. Watcher of the Buddhas of the Ancient Order, one can have the power to overcome you through sheer force of strength. You must learn to hear it coming. Now ready, my son.
agreement. What's your wager? Grog or coin? Coin. Krieger would have bet Grog. He's in the forest, collecting poison. Kind of a shame. He would have loved to see this. You boys best be moving along now. You've only come for your possessions, old man. It's not like we're gonna toy with you. And then cut your lights, just for sport. I'm warning you, thieves. That's rather rude. Boss, let's just take his loot and go. Greenwood, have you not learned by now? I have no interest in this man's loot. I want you to kill the Ancient One. Boss, I ain't sure about this. You ain't sure about this. Why should we let some wood rat scum like him live in our forest? Because he's a protector of the realm? Where was the Ancient One when my family needed him? When I needed him? All fighting in some war. And then the elves came and killed them. All in the name of honor and light. I shall return soon. No, no, do not pursue them. They are nearly in my sight. Why not pursue them? Swear an oath to me that you will not pursue them. Ancient Father, you do not know what you ask. I feel rage and vengeance and all-consuming hate that must be extinguished with their blood. It is that very thing that will defeat you. Hate and vengeance is never extinguished with blood but only grows more powerful and destructive. Now swear those on this day. On my life that you will not pursue my attackers.
smell your fear, human. Come out and play. There's no need to be sure. Survival from a town I pillaged. Wait a minute. I recognize your face. You're the map maker. What do you want? <laughs> Caffeine. What do I want? The map maker asks. I'll give you whatever you want, creature. Just let me go. All right. Caffeine. He called me creature. And I thought we were playing nice. Tell me where I can find a bloodstone. And caffeine of here won't cause you a tortured, agonizing death. The only stone I've ever seen is hung around the neck of the Lady of the Woods. Lady of the Woods, you say? Might you paint me a map? Do I have anything in my teeth? No scar look his best when you paint the Lady of the Woods. Here, this will lead you right to her. Am I free to go now? Why not? I would open me words, and I did say Caravanov wouldn't cause you a tortured, agonizing death. It's a shame I didn't include myself in there. I was starting to like him. The orcs who slew my family and took my daughter captive were searching for it. They seemed to think that I, or someone from my village, was in possession. Try to understand, Ranger. The Bloodstone is much older and larger than any of us. Forged by the hand of King Degrun himself, imbued with power that can rip the rights of creation from the gods. And what of it? The stone is no longer whole. Only fragments exist now. Each one contains the power of an ancient rite designed to bring back the Shadow King. King Degrun. Precisely. So who is this master that wants the Bloodstone? Hmm. The son of the King, Prince Corallon. Long have the shards of the Bloodstone been hidden in the land of Adrasil. Long has the Shadow Prince sent out his couriers to seek them. On a dreadful day, not too long ago, one was found, which led them to the location of the Etcher of Souls the blade of his father. Blood runes on the blade contain King de Grun's sword root. It is believed that another shard of the bloodstone is in the Grimmick Mountains, which contains the chanting rites used to resurrect the Shadow King. Morka, Lady of Woods is powerful caster. 
much more than I. You must go alone. I wait here. You mean to tell me I got to go get that cursed bloodstone all by myself? Lazy muffin. I stay here and resurrect you if she kill you. You understand. Go now. Get bloodstone and bring it back to Master. He will give you warband. Oh, you sure know how to make an orc fail, ain't it? All these years, the answer is finally here. Well, look at what we got here. You must be delighted to watch. I oh, yeah, you can see the future. Oh, yeah, Dick, does that mean you knew I'd be here? Yes, Morgra de Mercilis. I know who you are. So why am I so smart, then? Every other orc I make is always missing part of his brain. Why is that? You know the answer. I have been brought back many times. And to think, I have all my memories of lives past. That makes me a genius, then. I know you come for the bloodstone, Morgra. Straight to the point, then. Give it to me! Or I'll burn this entire place down. There's no need to make threats, Morgan. I show where it is. But first, your fate. Well, I are special. <laughs> First path is quiet, peaceful. You live long time, and you alone on this path. You will die a painless way where nobody sees, never to return to this world. One more life, then it is over. What kind of caster are you? The second path. Require you to take my life. And by so doing, the power to resurrect yourself will be granted unto you. You will no longer need the necromancer to raise you from the dead. You will never taste of death. Clever. Rich. I can upgrade. Spill my blood? And this path will lead you to a ranger. He is searching for the Outlanders. Because of you, you sold his daughter to them. That's right. Say, Greenskins ain't so good at keeping little children alive. It's just too tempting to eat them for breakfast. Good thing them Outlanders is worthless bogs who'd rather get little slaves to cook their supper than do it themselves. If only they knew, the master will make them all his slaves. When the time's right. Go west of here, back to the shore hills. Find the ranger, find the shard at the bloodstone. But remember, since you will live forever, you shall be sentenced to exist in a never ending cycle of torture. Never dying is torture then? Let me think. So it's either I live a peaceful life and die a painless death. Or, I kill you, and live forever. That is right. So, Mokra, the merciless creature of darkness, which path you choose? What's your name, young one? Fina. Where are you from? Are you from the Grimmick Mountains? In the Borderlands? Where you call for a weather. <clears throat> May I?
Do you know who I am, Raina? You're an outlander. How do you know about outlanders? Daddy told me. Who's your daddy, Raina? Does he know where you are? His daddy will find me. He can find any. He's a ranger. Yeah, it's yours. Bruston, we're nearly there. Why is it that I could not find this place before? I took note of our travels. Your tracking was nothing out of the ordinary. How do you explain this? There's a dark shroud cast around this forest. I suspected as much. The Master had his casters working hard to hide this place from the world. You've been here before, but for what purpose, Sharia? I told you, to fight the Outlanders. Not good enough. I need more. How can you possibly know where this is? Drewston, let it go. Let's move on. No! I've searched too long and hard to let any stone go unturned. This does not stand to reason, Sharia. Who are you, really? Why did you bring me here? I told you to fight the Outlanders and save your daughter. Nothing how more. How did you know about the Dark Shroud? And more importantly, how did you know how to get past it? Tristan, you're looking into something that isn't there. Let it go. Let's move on. You're hiding something, and I want no part of your game. Someone's approaching. Hide. Wait, Mokra. I smell human. Hush, buddy. I smell elf. I'm serious. Watch yourself. What are you so worried about? I can resurrect myself. I can lay in woods. Where is this old under? Patience, Mokra. He comes now. You don't scare me, green skin. Or shall I say, pale skin. You know, for an orc, you're quite colorless. Has anyone ever told you that? Where's the girl, Pystar? What girl? The one I showed you, right before I died. That's a good one. An orc who reanimates himself and tries to claim what is rightfully mine. I wish I had a necromancer by my side. Do you charge for this service? Bring my dear girl. Why is she so important to you? She's just a worthless peasant who can't even sew trousers. You stupid kid. She's a daughter of a ranger. This ranger could never find her. The Dark Shroud protects her. You underestimate this ranger. He travels with She-Elf. She leads him to your camp. Sharia. How do you know? I smell them. They are close. We don't have much time. I'll bring you to the girl. But you pay double your selling price. Greedy, predictable, pasty old under. This is why we'll be friends forever. Now, Hendrik, bring us to her. Do this, and I resurrect you next time you die. Follow me. Tristan, wait. I have no need for your assistance anymore, Shiok. They will lead me back to their camp. I appreciate you taking me this far, but this is where we go our separate ways. Stupid human. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Then tell me. Perhaps I shall sway my mind. So be it.
dare wage war on your kin, Sharia? You are not my kin, Outlander. You betray all that you once were. So fast. I've waited a long time for this. Now, Paisley Ranger, give me the bloodstone, or witness me cut a little prey head off. I don't have the bloodstone. You and your kind have raided and killed all that were in my village searching for it. No one has it, Mogra. And I beg to differ, Ranger. The Lady of the Woods said, right before I cut her lights, you'd have them. And if I found you, I'd get it. I'd live forever. Thank you. 
about the Lady of the Woods is, she never lies. my brother. Once poison enters the bloodstream, vital organs begin to consume each other until there is nothing left but blackness underneath the skin. So you kill me then? Your own brother? You have no loyalty, Bjorn. You will die. She will betray you. You know not what you choose. It didn't have to be this way. You're stupid and weak. Curses be upon you, Bjorn. <laughs> Are so strong and brave. You are my everything. Never forget how special you are. This is our new home now. This is where you stay when I fight for the king. You're with family now. Hi, Raina. I'm Evelyn. We 
would you like to come play? Thank you. We are not your enemy, Ranger. It would seem, given the rare circumstances of the situation, which was the only option that could work. I'm the last surviving outlander. Only we know where the hidden camp is that the Dark Shroud protects. I suppose it's the safest possible place, then. For them both. I couldn't agree more. You shall be sentenced to exist in a never-ending cycle of torture. preconceived ideas of what we once thought were just and true, irrelevant. But how did I become this? A creature of light? Was I forged in the furnace of war like so many others? I think not. I was saved. Saved by a guardian who saw better in me. Racked by sorrow from the death of the Ancient One, I grew powerless to resist the urge to track down the thieving bandits who stole his life. A promise I had made, knowing full well I had the strength to fulfill. The flesh is weak, and I succumb to the poison of vengeance. After many days of tracking, I finally took hold of their scent. What would happen next could only be explained as fate incarnate. Even bandit like yourself. I didn't think you had it in you. Only two bandits. Where's the third? No matter. I could just end them with arrows. But they need to be punished. They were uglier than your arrows. <laughs> they don't deserve a quick end. Oh, oh you're mad. What you're experiencing right now are the effects of a decade-long obsession. Krieger here loves his poison. Now, I know Krieger would love to explain the details of this concoction, but, well, Years of dedication to his craft have shriveled his tongue. Oh, don't worry. This poison won't kill you. It'll just incapacitate you long enough for us to kill you.
You were caught in a moment of weakness. You were spared. Thank you. But how eager you were to forsake your oath. Who are you? How do you know of my oath? I am the Watcher of these woods, and I know that you swore an oath to your ancient ancestor that you would not seek vengeance upon his killers. As I said, you were weak, and now I have spared you. Spared me from what? An awful fate, my friend. One that would consume your every thought. One that would lead you straight to the forces of darkness. And how do you know of this? I was where you were once. After the death. Kira. I was a lost soul. The Ancient One helped me fight against the darkness that crept in. I became a force for light. After I pledged myself to protect the Borderlands, I fought the forces of darkness for quite some time. And I remembered the Ancient One telling me of a lost love and family he once had. I returned to these parts. I've watched you train for quite some time. I saw your potential in skill and heart. I witness his passing. And I witnessed your oath sealed by his blood. It would seem I owe you a life debt, Ranger. On the contrary. It is he who owes you a life debt. This here is the last remaining bandit. He claims he was forced to kill the Ancient One, that he had no choice in the matter. I leave judgment to you, Kristen. As rangers in the Borderlands, we are the Blade of the King. We are judge, jury, and executioner. So, what will it be, brother? Will it be justice? Or mercy?